yes, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, jammers of all ages, and welcome to the Jams and Cocktails live radio program. I am your host, Brad Brock, and tonight we've got an amazing episode for you because waiting in the wings is a pair of world famous ravers that just so happen to be our good friends. And we finally got them here in the lounge. Give it up for April and Darlene. And Ellie. (laughs) In good company. (laughs) They are the Rave Mamas. Do it again. Also joining us here in the legendary JNC lounge tonight is, of course, the JNC Destruction Crew, Miss Jordan Taylor. Ellilicious. What, what did you call Delicious? <laughs> Ellilicious. Oh. And Jen's elbow. And Jen's That's elbow. Right. Making a <laughs> guest appearance. Yes, yes. And uh, uh, Derek Zugel is uh, out tonight. Uh, his father wasn't feeling well, so um, he's taking care of him. We wish Mr. Zugel a uh, speedy recovery, and uh, we'll have Derek back next week, hopefully. Uh, tonight, you guys, we're going to be learning all about these amazing festival goers. And we'll also play a round of Name That Tune with all of our live viewers out there. You'll get your entertainment news in the Jordy Files. This should be a good one because Jordan didn't have an opportunity to uh, to read through them. So, And we know how that goes. And we know how that goes, don't we? <laughs> Not good. <laughs> no, it's going to be great. I even wrote things out phonetically for you today, so it should should be okay. Oh, thank God. And, uh, of course, we'll have Ellie's Bad Bitch Bible Study as well. I'd like to thank all of you for tuning in live with us tonight on YouTube, Facebook, and listening in on Shore Life Radio. Please remember to give us a subscribe on YouTube, especially if you're catching us for the very first time. we got some first-time viewers out there. But before we hit the dance floor... With the Rave Mamas, let's pregame with our shot of the week. Everybody. Yes, yes, yes. Our shot of the week, (laughs) friends, is the electric lemonade. Uh, this is a, it's a pretty nice tart shot uh, to make it in a shaker with ice. You combine one part citron vodka, a splash of blue curacao, two parts of sour mix. You shake it up and strain into a shot glass, but leave a little bit of room for a splash of Sprite as we need that lemon lime in our lives. Here we are. Look at everybody. Everybody's here. All right. Ladies, this has been a long time coming. Cheers. Thanks for being here tonight. Cheers oh, to all of you watching. You. Thank you thank for having you. us. Ooh, it's delicious. That tastes like straight juice. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's nice. That's um, that's a Derek cocktail right there. That, that oh, is, yeah. That is something that Derek would make. Absolutely. <laughs> um, only you and I finished it. <laughs> oh, it's so sour. I gotta, yeah. I'm going to sip on that. It's a that's sipper. a good yeah, sipper. That will definitely... Uh, that's like how many flavors of Jolly Rancher are there? Uh, uh, that's like the sixth uh, yeah. flavor or the missing <laughs> member of the Jolly Rancher family. Yeah, Ellie, that will definitely hurt <laughs> Ursula. The oh yeah, the ulcer. Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> well, you guys join us each week for. Oh, I gotta look at that tart taste in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> join us each week for our shot or cocktail of the week by visiting us at jnclive.tv to see what we're planning, and then get everything that you need delivered by our friends. At Drizzly. Drizzly. That's right. What does your shirt say, Ellie? It says Papa Bless. B- Papa what? Papa Bless. Papa Bless. Better ingredients? Better pizza? <laughs> Papa Bless. Papa Bless. Is there a, st- is there a story behind yeah. this? Yeah. It's from another podcast, H3H3. Oh. We don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> oh, H3H3. They're, they're, they're great. They're, yeah. They're great. They're fun. Um, all right, you guys. Well, that was uh that was the show. We hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys listen. We're gonna dive right into our show tonight. This dynamic duo has exploded onto the EDM festival scene since they were caught on video dancing the night away at EDC Orlando, and it went viral on TikTok and then viral everywhere else, garnering over a million views and over a hundred thousand likes on the original video. Uh, promoters took notice and elevated them to festival royalty so check out you guys 
the rave mamas hi my name's april i've been raving for longer than most of these people at these raves have been alive hi my name's darlene and i've been raving for over 40 years we hope to promote raving and electronic dance music to people who are older like us that are intimidated from going because they think so many young people there oh my god i can't do that and but it's awesome they love us and they get us to the rail every time so since i've been coming to festivals i found out that older people are a little bit afraid to come here and they don't know this is all about plur and age is nothing and everybody at any age can come here and we're all treated the same so if you're older than 40, older than 50, older than 60, come on out because it's it's a wonderful thing to do. Hey, any ideas where you think we're headed? We are so lost. We have, how you can be, you have no idea. We're clueless. What, what an absolute adventure you you two oh, have yeah. embarked on, and we're gonna get into all of it really. But I just want to start out by asking: Did you did you think at that moment that you being at the rail was going to turn into this just big adventure? I never. Um, it all started when a young employee of Insomniac who's one of the biggest music production prom promoters in this country. She videoed us at EDC Orlando. Do you have that video? I don't know. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I have it. I was going to send it to you, but I thought you, I thought you were going to send it. Is she Australian? That's the original Is she Australian? No. no. No, no, no. She's from California. I do have a video of an Australian girl interviewing you guys. But, but she filmed, she videoed us. At the EDC Orlando, two years ago, two years ago, and she brought it up to her boss Pasquale Rotella, who is the EDC founder, company owner. Right, right. And we we have to make we have to make a thing about these women, and um, that's how it all started. And the video ended up getting 145 million views. Holy moly! Yeah. So that that's not the original video th no. that that went viral. No. So this is a whole other video. A whole other video that had 140 million yeah. views yes. plus views. Yes. Yeah. Holy moly. Yes. That, that that's video, crazy. That video was also taken by the um, uh, Black Eyed Peas. Tried to steal it. They took it. They, and they tried put to it steal out, it. They put that video out there and they put uh, their music to it. And no just kidding. recently, who was the guy that just did it? Don Bresky? No, yeah. the rock guy. Oh. And this, somebody okay. else just took it and, and used that video, but put their music on it. Interesting. So, hmm. and that, those have gone very viral also. Sure. So a little crazy. But Darlene, tell them how she tracked us now. Maya. Oh, she went <laughs> and uh, researched everything on Facebook to finally somebody, she put this out there and finally one of my friends actually said, Darlene, is this you? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> yes. And then somehow they, they put my name out there, my full name, and she got my full name from Facebook and said, got hold of us <laughs> and said, I thought it was a joke. And she was very serious. Yeah, she worked you know? for Insomniac. And we were like, no, no way. This is not real. But she called, she contacted Darlene and I. Yeah, we and did. And set up a Zoom call. So we knew it was real. Set up a Zoom call. She wanted to say, we want to know if you ladies are for real. Or is this just like a one-time thing? Right, right. <laughs> I did the Zoom call at my house. And uh, she was like, 
you ladies are the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> so she ran it by her boss, Pasquale Rotella. And uh, it, it went on from there. It went and on from there. Yeah, they flew us to uh, Los Angeles to meet us and take us all through the whole Insomniac headquarters. We met everybody. Um, we did a video there. It didn't. It, it wasn't approved by some of the uh, DJs, so they couldn't use it. They built a bingo parlor. They built an entire <laughs> bingo parlor in their headquarters. Right, right. The objective was to introduce the, the 25 headliners that were going to be playing at the 30th anniversary of Insomniac at EDC Las Vegas. It, we were there for eight hours. It was a, a huge set. I mean, they there were cameras everywhere, and we, you know, take one, take two. It That's was amazing. They, they had monkeys. We had clowns. We had the whole bingo thing. The whole, the they had the roller thing. Oh my gosh! You, and the we were to go there with um, Pasquale, and we would pull out the names of the DJs out of the bingo thing. That's and, pretty and, cool. And it was like the early release, right? But right, right. Because the the DJs. Some of the DJs yeah, weren't some ready, them. didn't approve of it. Didn't, yeah, want, yeah. didn't want it early release. I can understand it that. It was a clever idea. And, and, and you know, maybe, maybe next year they'll, uh, <laughs> they'll well, plan it out a little further well, in the, advance. The thing about it, though, is that because that didn't go, we still got the video in Las Vegas. So, Which is still amazing. Which was the best. So with that being said, and, and the fact that you are the real deal, let's let's go back and let's get back to the let's get to back to the start of this, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, before we even get to the the video that made this whole thing launch, <laughs> um, let's um, you okay? You okay yeah. over there? Mm -hmm. I'm still recovering from this cold. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry, man. <laughs> uh, so, all right. So let's um, before we get to that video because we are going to get to it. We'll play mm -hmm. it for everybody. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you ladies remember your very first rave? Like the very first time you went to a, a dance music festival or party or anything like that? And uh, we'll start with uh, with April. We Well, back in the day, we, you know, all the raves were in New York City. And I, we just couldn't get there, but I couldn't get there. But then I started going, finding out that they were being held at old airport hangars, like on the water off the Hudson, the Hudson River, whatever. And I would take a, the Long Island Railroad in there by myself, go and um, hang out. And one of them was Armin, Armin Van Buren. Uh, can't really remember the other ones. And mainly we hung out in people's garages or in their homes. And they play, we just played rave music. All night long. So it was like it, it was it like was house like parties. Thing. It was a house yeah. party. It was house parties. Definitely. I love that. Mm -hmm. So what was the what was the first festival that you went to? Um, in terms of like, you know, I mean, I guess it's it's a pretty modern thing for these massive festivals, at least in the last mm -hmm. twenty years, um, for EDC, Tomorrowland, and, and these various festivals that are kind of like doing their thing. Tell the, how we met. The, the, the <laughs> terrible one that was just up in New York that, that oh. bombed real oh, hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell them how we what, met. Well, Burning Man. Started. Oh, and Burning Man, too, yeah. Oh, that fell apart, too. Oh, yeah. Well, they, you can't predict the weather. Like, they, no, they, they got, the they got, mu they, actually, I think they a lot of them really enjoyed it. You <laughs> know, they I enjoyed it. They played in the mud and, you know, they had a great time. So, yeah. Oh, okay. So, Darlene, what was your first dive into into the rave scene, into into going to festivals, anything like that? Do you remember your first your first toe in? Yeah. Um, I'm a retired police officer, and I met some people. Uh, actually, the um, the rave scene started mainly at gay clubs. Right. Right. And. Some of the people I worked with, some of the people I hung with said, you know, you got to come because you get out of work and you just can just forget about everything. Just put it all away, put it all behind you. And that's basically how it started, you know. So that's how I got into it. Right. Okay. So other people were influenced you to come out of your shell and, yeah. and, and, and go and hang out. And then and you were hooked. 
Oh, you go twice and you're done. Yeah. <laughs> First time is like, what the hell is happening to me? Exactly. And then the second time is, is yeah, this is great. I love what's happening to me. I mean, if you get into the music, you realize that you really can put all your cares, all your thoughts, all your everything behind you and just right into the music. I love that. I love that. As a musician myself, like it's it's very similar, but there is something interesting, like, and we'll get into this as well. There's a culture behind dance music and and EDM and, and the festivals themselves, and uh, we'll talk about that for sure. Um, how would you compare, speaking of these festivals, how would you compare the the EDM festivals today versus how it was when you first started going out to these places well i moved here to florida in 2017 and came a year later <laughs> and we were we, we met each other through my neighbor across the street who ended up selling darlene her home oh, wow. she met the both of us and said you two are definitely going to get along and sure enough she had a dinner party we met and everybody else was like what what you know, we we just got along so well. <laughs> Found out we loved X Files. We loved rave music, and so we were we finally made it so we could go to these raves together. And that's so when great. it all started, like five, well, five six years ago. And we've been doing we do uh, Miami Ultra and um, EDC Orlando. You know, every, yeah, the, every the time nice we local, can. the good local festivals. Well, we're exactly. we're getting into more of them now. We have found yes. out. Since being the rave mamas, people get hold of us and go, oh, you got to go to this one in Georgia. Mm -hmm. You got to go to these clubs in Orlando. So yes. we're expanding. Yeah. I was going to say, all of a sudden now you're in demand. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. no, they're just telling us what, what places to go. And we make friends everywhere. We do oh make God. friends. They love us. The kids love us. <laughs> so Aww. great. It's so great. And we love them. And we love them, too. Oh, it's so evident too in, in the videos. We only played the one for you guys out there, but um, but just seeing other videos of just how these people embrace you, and, and mm -hmm. I feel like that's part of the culture of it yes. as well, uh, right. which we're going to talk about. Um, outside of the dance music genre, are there any other genres of music that you enjoy or or hate or both? <laughs> I love country. Get out of here. Not at all over here. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. I, I, April, I've, I've known you for so, I mean, we, yeah. we've all known yes. you here for, for so long. Mm -hmm. And Darlene was very shortly thereafter mm -hmm. um, that we, we became friends as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, I do specifically remember you telling me that you, you were into uh, EDM and techno and these things. And, and it, it blew my mind, but immediately I was like, nope, that makes perfect sense. It's, it's perfectly <laughs> yeah. makes perfect sense. It's all I listen uh, to. And I do remember you vividly saying uh, that you did not like country music at all. Yep. <laughs> she can do her own thing. That's OK. Yeah, I, I, mean, I do. I love I just got back from yeah. Nashville and I listened to uh, uh, 100 bands and, and I loved every minute of it. Oh, so good. Awesome. But I still love EDM better. You know, it's so funny as a like I like. I have my genres of music that I like, but I really enjoy electronic music. Like, um, not so much EDM, but more like indie pop and mm -hmm. and and things like that. You know, where there's you know it's still singer songwritery, yeah. but but it's it's definitely has electronic music in the back, and it's my guilty pleasure. It's what I listen to when I put music on in the car, and uh, but I don't perform it at all. <laughs> like yeah. you know, it's it's a whole different bag. Um, is there? A, You've given us the genre that you hate, which is country music. Uh, <laughs> is there any other genre of music that you listen to outside of uh, EDM April? Only genres of EDM. Really? Yes. There's Many, some genres? There's like 30 genres of EDM. Oh, my gosh. Honestly. You know, it's funny. I was looking for music yes. just, just to put on background music today. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I discovered this in Spotify how many subgenres there and i was amazing. like which one do i pick what do i what do i do here what's your favorite sub genre trance um, yeah trance uh techno uh chill hmm. melodic pro progressive um gosh i'm gonna have to do a deep dive a, into this a, <laughs> no there's uh um, my driving there's around a head banging one and we don't we don't oh, do the head banging. Yeah. we, we do don't the do the head, head banging. Banging. interesting <laughs> yeah. 
I would but agree. But there's like that. at least 30, 35 different subgenres wow. of EDM. Wow. Yes. Yeah, but you like if you, oh, go to, you yeah. like disco, which is well, there's another there's a disco part of the genre. Yeah, yeah I feel like disco is the original it, dance it, genre. Yeah. You know, if you um, go to DM.fi, it will show you a ton of, of hmm. subgenres of EDM music. It's Interesting. Amazing. Good to know. Hard yes. to believe, but it is. Huh. Yeah. What about Amazing. what about you, Darlene? Is there a genre of music that you're like, nope, not for me. I'm out. Exactly what I just said. <laughs> I, I I don't. I love the music with the drop. I love the chill, but I don't like. Oh, the Skrillex. The, the headbang. I don't know we the don't Skrillex do where they do that and then they <laughs> you know you they build it up. And then they come down and you think there's going to be a drop and it's, and it's like, uh, 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 uh. no, uh, <laughs> they don't, don't in, like that's that. Interesting. I don't like uh, Skrillex. I feel like that's, uh, that's, that's interesting. It's like nails um, on a chalkboard to me. I don't mm, like Skrillex. There, there was a parody video that I saw one time uh, and it was a, it was a DJ and like the whole place is just getting amped up and the DJ was getting ready, you know, and it was like this build up to the drop. And then the drop never came. It just yeah. never oh, ever happened. So just, oh. and I was like, it's terrible. I was yeah. like, that's so terrible for for every reason whatsoever. Yes. <laughs> oh. mm. All right, so no headbanging, no um, chalk chalkboards. Get that out of here, Jordan. Okay. No, no chalkboard music tonight. <laughs> Noted. All right, so uh, when you are getting ready to go to a festival, and you're at your hotel, getting ready to rock and roll. Is do you have any? pre-gaming rituals that that you that you get down on before <laughs> before you make your way out to the shows april's like yes <laughs> <laughs> go ahead um pre-gaming is like definitely um vodka sodas and <laughs> that's way the way of to life. do it yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> you know you, you just got to do it um we we have a system and I uh, don't want to make it public because I don't wow. want anybody to bust us or anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, we get our ride. And um, then we generally switch to beatbox. Uh, beatbox? At, at the festivals. We yeah. love beatbox. And everybody, whenever there's a festival and they serve beatbox, we'll, we'll take that because it levels us off a little bit. And then we can last the whole night. Nice, nice. As a matter of fact, Jordan's going to go get us a She's couple. Gonna get us a couple. Oh, we're going to go get yeah. it now? So I you am. guys yes. can see what the beatbox we, looks like. We'd love it. We actually, uh, awesome. we, we, were, we, um, we were reminiscing about a story that we had when Avril Lavigne, pop singer Avril Lavigne, yeah. was, um, she teamed up with Beatbox to do her own like pink really? lemonade oh, version of it, that. right? Oh. And, uh, and so when you mentioned it, I was like, ah, I know around? what this is. She is. Is she is? She just oh. had a birthday last week. Oh. Uh, and uh, wow. she's like my, my celebrity crush. Oh goodness! Right. She, she brought us the whole thing Yay. here. The whole thing. Yay. We're gonna have to crack it open, crack Jordan. It I didn't open. know. Okay. Yeah. Crack it open. Box. I didn't want to disturb. That's okay. <laughs> what a Peace fun there. box, he though. Isn't it, it colorful? Go grab oh, that it is, and, but and I don't know Get into it, Jordan. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, we'll send Jordan over there, and we can continue our chat. Okay. Yeah. But we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna circle back to beatbox. Okay. Um, so you you have your beatbox, mm -hmm. and then you you get your ride. From you have your own specific uh, Uber driver yes. in Orlando, right? Oh my God! This <laughs> this guy, his name is Tim, and he works for Timely Transportation. Timely Transportation. Shout out to Timely Transportation. Oh yeah, no, so ever, not an Uber driver. Uh, well, no, he's, well, on, his he, he, he's he, on his own. He he technically is an Uber driver, oh. but he's he's now gone off on his own. Um, and he takes care of his people. And I'll tell you stories of us leaving EDM or EDC Orlando and calling him and going. Because we, we get lost. We got lost <laughs> every, every time. single <laughs> every night. time. <laughs> and it's not because of the beatbox. Seriously. Right, <laughs> yeah. right, no, right. No, Likely it was, story. It's because we would go out the wrong exit. Uh, Maybe. <laughs> we can't even pinpoint where we get lost, but we, we get, lost. We get lost. But we would tell him, we would call him and say, this is where we are. And he would go, turn around, look at the light. There's a cop up there. Walk toward the light and wait for me. And he would find us within a couple minutes. So he, smart. He has rave mama radar. Aww. Rave oh, without a doubt. Radar. I love without that. Without a doubt. We should make oh. Tim a shirt. Yeah, he needs a, yeah. a hat that says yes. "Rave Mama Aww. Radar." He love this. I know oh. he's watching. What a yes, sweet man! He's watching, very sweet man. Oh. He might be working, but if not, we'll make sure he's watching yeah. it later. Yep. 
the awesome. best. The best. Awesome, awesome, Shout awesome. Out. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of, uh, of festivals and hotels and things of that such, um, have you... Have you ever camped or glamped uh, for these multi-day festivals, or do you commute from a hotel like I would? No. I would do. No, no, no. <laughs> That's a solid no. Uh-uh. No, I, no. I, I need a shower and a electricity bed and electricity, mm-hmm. and, air conditioning you know, at some point. Air conditioning, yeah. Yeah. no mud. I mean, we're no. we're no. older, you know. We're not young. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to bring me to my next point here in just a minute, but uh, but, but I I'm with you and uh, I I have friends that go to festivals and they're like oh yeah I just literally took a sleeping bag and I slept in the grass all night and I'm like oh. this is crazy I can't even imagine and then Darlene was telling me earlier about this uh, this horror story of just thousands of tents in the desert oh, out yeah. at EDC Las Vegas and uh, I just can't even wrap my head around it seeing footage of burning man and <laughs> and and you know what what that all entails was just wild to me um right. yeah give me get me to the ritz that's um uh, that's what i'm mm-hmm. that's my story and i'm sticking to it well e- edc <laughs> las vegas has a an amazing hotel that they take over and it, 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 they turn it into edc hotel edc hotel oh. and they had and their own shuttles they have their own oh, private shuttles great. and they have, I mean, in, you know, the price is, uh, we have no idea because they put us up. <laughs> so, but, you know, well, but it's a huge, huge place. Oh, that, yeah. they, well, they put us up. They put us up. So I don't Listen, know. That is a, that is a des- well-deserved pinky up and yes. I appreciate it. <laughs> I wouldn't know what it cost, you see. Because <laughs> we had no idea. It was I, free. Because it was uh, free. Oh, that's what we're, that. we're going to talk about that, too. Um, and uh, I guess we'll we'll dive right into that. I'm actually going to cue up a clip here. This is the original clip okay. with the commentary, mm. which I want to talk about a little bit, too, that that set all this. Uh, this mm. is the clip that I saw <laughs> yeah. just filming through TikToks mm-hmm. randomly in my house uh, a year so ago good. and was like, it did a double take. <laughs> and no sooner did I see it. Then Jordan sent me a text and was like, did you, see? it sent me the link and was like, did you just see, th- this is April and Darlene. <laughs> and, and, and the same thing, we thought the same thing. We're like, is this a joke? Is this real? Is this really them? Like, it's what's going on? Yeah, I was like, what? 100% for real. Mm-hmm. Okay. Jordan, your microphone's so hot tonight. Oh, sorry. No, no. It's, I got it's excited good. about it. I think it's, <laughs> I'm very excited about that. I think it's because I've, oh, I, I, we had, are too. I had Al Beltran on there uh, yesterday, and uh, he's got this wonderful soft voice, ah. and uh, you do not. Uh, so. oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys. So this is the clip. This is the original clip started from TikTok that started it all. Um, if you haven't seen it, you're living under a rock, but um, this is it, and then we're going to talk a little bit about it. Check it These out. These are what we call grandma ravers. <laughs> Left their husbands back at the nursing homes, and they are just having the time of their lives. Even on the rails, like there's no tomorrow, because there might not be, so just got to give it up for them. Okay. So that, that, that is it. That's it. It's crazy to me, right? So, um, so uh, I do, I'll ask firstly, do you remember this moment at edc orlando when this when this happened oh yeah yeah remember the moment but we didn't know we had no idea video right of course yeah yeah yeah. and from the stage no less you know this was actually now was this insomnia um or insomniac actually filming it yeah yeah um our our friend named maya uh actually filmed this from backstage and that's who that's the one who who tracked down Darlene. But we didn't know. She she wasn't our friend then. Right, we right, right. We, yeah. we had no idea who she was. But yeah. she just saw us and said, you know, one of the things she really, really appreciated was we were enjoying the music without our phones out. Yes. Because there were hundreds of people behind us and they all oh. got their phones out videoing and we were just at the rail just enjoying the music. Right. And that's one thing I noticed. I was like, look at them. They're having the time of their lives. We yeah. were. It was, was so it. great. Yeah. Do, you rem- do you remember who was on stage? I think Do- it was Jay Wara. Jay, Jay Wara. I don't know. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I mean, I mean, of course, Jay Wara. You asked the question. We have the book. So we can we have the book. Is, oh, my yeah. God. Is this the DJ Bible? This is the DJ what is, Bible. Oh, wow. Yes. What oh, is sir. this? This is... Um, 
once a rave is put out on on the web we download who's playing and we go on youtube and we we watch every single dj oh my gosh for at least I don't know, I don't know. Like 15 20 minutes 15 they, 20 minutes we can tell we can tell oh who gosh. we like i'll open it up and, though. um this is amazing. So, so while they're opening that book up, just to let you know, when you look up DJs <laughs> on YouTube, they don't have tracks; they have sets. Right. So the sets are anywhere from fifty minutes to to an hour and, and, and two oh hours. You know, gosh. and but we have what, a rating system. But what we'll do, and you though, rate them, and we we'll, have a rating system. Yeah, oh, we'll start. Oh we'll start yes. from the beginning. Oh, that one was real bad. Everyone's like, no. Oh, that was probably then, like, a couple that was, yeses. That was probably, probably Forbidden Kingdom. Yeah, yeah anyway, head banging. Yeah. You know. Anyway, oh, the head banging. So, yeah. So oh my gosh, and then that's amazing. When, you guys do your research. Oh God, yes. Wow. Yeah, we're serious. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we want to see, see a sport. See what makes us happy. So when yeah, they I love send that. out, sure. when they send out the set list, when they send out the people who are playing, see, Darlene's in charge of itiner itinerary and travel and places ah, to stay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I am in charge of the set lists. <laughs> oh, so I make up. The set list. Look at the, for, you know, for every oh day. Of I noticed each in, the, in that video I played in the beginning that you were holding up a yes. what looked like a laminated set list. That's, it. Yes. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. Oh. So oh, it's is, color coordinated. Yes. Oh, this is laminated. Oh, wow, laminated. Oh, yeah. well, it's colors by <laughs> day, amazing. by yeah. day and time, so we know where we have to where, go. Where we have to go. Oh my yes. gosh. Yes. I love now you, it's ladies. so and much organization. I'm a librarian. What so, can I tell you? I love this. That's like sweet, sweet. I mean, sometimes if we don't follow it completely, because if we're somewhere at a stage and then someone comes on and they're really good and mm -hmm. we have never mm -hmm. seen yeah, them. We'll there was stay. a little kink in the chain. But, but yeah. it's good to have guidelines, but you know? Guidelines. Yeah, yeah. It's some, some sort of structure. Oh, my gosh. I love but that. But then when we show the kids there, they just crack up. Uh, it, <laughs> Nobody has this. No. no of course They're not. just flying by the seat of their pants. Right. They're like, wherever we end <laughs> up, I don't know. But then afterward, you hear them going, oh, my God, we wanted to see this person, and we wanted to see that person. But where are they? Where are they? Well, hey. What time? There they are. Ask April. <laughs> Ask April. Oh my God, that's I'm only going with you guys. That's, that's all I know. Yeah. So amazing. Yeah. So I when you guys that. go, you got to oh. come with us. Yeah. Oh gosh. Definitely. Amazing. So you were made aware that this video existed because Maya reached out to you, or or did her did her footwork and and detective work and came yes. and, and found you. That's amazing. Yes. That's so wonderful. Um. So. Now, of course, mm -hmm. having known both of you for years at this rate. Um, I'd say that you probably have more youthful energy than probably anybody else in this room. I could say uh, that. I could say confidently. that. Confidently. Confidently. Um, These are the two young ones here. Right? So, you got a lot of energy. So, right, Ellie? Yeah. I oh, nap God. for eight hours at a time. Uh, oh, that's true. <laughs> oh, you so, can do it. Oh, honest, you can do out. it. <laughs> well, Oh, 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 I was doing, ending the funny. show early. No. <laughs> um, when the you kicking us out already? No, here, God, right? no, I'm kicking myself out. <laughs> the, uh, when when the original clip was posted and and gained traction, the the caption that we just saw, um, I thought could be perceived as a little bit ageist. Oh, wait, and, uh, and 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 a hint of condon, uh, a hint condescending. Bit condescending. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And um. So what, what are your thoughts on the original post? And then, of course, obviously, the overwhelming amount of support that you got afterwards uh, that really kind of, you know, because I never again saw another repost of that with anything mentioning or, or, or kind of, you know, I get it because it was they were making the joke and, and it was that I don't think that person even had an idea that this was going to become what it became. No. Right. So what are your what are your thoughts on on the original caption? And then, of course, the, the support afterwards. I absolutely went online immediately <laughs> and said, number one, only one of us is a grandma. <laughs> None of us, neither of us live in homes. Right. And neither of us have husbands that we left behind. <laughs> so make sure you know what you're talking about <laughs> before so you wrong. say it. <laughs> Yeah. And that was the end of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then after that, everybody that posted was like, we want to be like you. 
and they were taking their friends going, oh, my God, this is what we have to do when we get older. Mm. You know, more, be, more favorable response. Much more favorable. Negative. That well, was the consensus like, that I got later on and, and, and afterwards posted. And, and just right. reading through the comments was just, you know, just this, you know, of course, you have trolls everywhere. And, mm. and I was like, you have... I was like, you are typing on a keyboard, uh, sitting behind a computer screen right now. What are you doing with your life? <laughs> Nothing. Right. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Being miserable. Uh, uh -huh. And I have a bad habit or a great habit, perhaps. All of you out there watching, I will. You send a negative comment. I'm looking you up. I'm gonna. Look at it. I'm gonna find you on Facebook. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see what kind of life you live. Oh boy. And then I decide how I'm going to respond to you. Yes. <laughs> I, That's how I live. I try to respond almost to every single person, whether it's a heart or a thank you or a we love you or we can't wait to see you in, in Orlando. But I go on and it, it takes a while, mm. but I yeah. try to respond to every single one. And if there's a negative one, I respond to that too. Sure. And I say, when you meet us, you'll change your mind. Mm. I love that. You know, I, 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 that I never so will much. give a negative back to them mm. because it's not worth my time or my energy. Sure. But I will say something. Oh, sometimes I will say something like, you know, that's rude and that's not what we're about. Yes. But that's as far as I'll go with that. Mm. Yeah. Because no, the I other did. people that read it need to know that, that it's all about love and taking care of people. Yeah, and we're going to dive right into the culture of it. But before before we do it, I just want to I just want to say I love the brand name the rave mamas yes. that that mm -hmm. is were there other choices on the table before you decided on that or was that the the, the first and final we started out with the mamas mm -hmm. just the mamas because and then our, as you can see like our shirts say you know get the mamas to the rail my shirt on the back says you wish i was your mama you wish i was your mama <laughs> yes so we 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 started out with the mamas and honestly what happened is that the I think it was Tim started calling us the Mimmies or the Mamas or the Rave Mamas, and we're like, "Oh, Rave, rave mamas. mamas!" Yeah, timely and then, again. And then when we went to Las Vegas, um, everybody was like, "It's the Rave Mamas." So we're that we're caught on, stuck. yeah, love it. And that way, we're more recognized than just the Mamas. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, so good. So good. Now, EDC Las Vegas, of course, uh, gigantic uh, music festival. And and they flew you out there mm. to go to this festival. So tell us just, uh, I mean, as briefly or as in depth as you like, because I, I can't wait to hear this, um, uh, of just your experience from, from getting on the plane, which, April, I know you love oh, to do, uh, oh, <laughs> to getting there in the, in the whole experience. I'm so nervous. I, was, I don't fly. Darlene, on the other hand, flies every other week, it seems. <laughs> She's always going somewhere. It's true. <laughs> but I knew if I didn't do this trip, she would kill me. I would have killed her. <laughs> she would have killed me. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I, I, of course I had to do this, you know, especially, you know, after uh, Maya reached out and uh, she set all this up and they were con in constant contact. The especially when they, were, when they were like, and it costs you nothing, which is to <laughs> bring you out. No, <laughs> <laughs> it, it was what they did for us, though. Yeah. I mean, they put us up in the EDC hotel. They set us up for rides with the um, shuttle, the, the shuttle. But there was either with the DJs. <laughs> we were with the artist production. We, we were, were with the, the artists. artists. The artists. We were the talents. We yes. were like with the <laughs> artist. It was unbelievable. I mean, they treated oh. us amazing. They treated us like royalty, honestly. I mean, the, the whole time was just unbelievable. And then when we got there, but when we got there, it was, we were, we had someone with us all the, the time. time. Then they would like say, we'll give you a couple hours, go do your thing, meet us back here. But we had someone with us all the time, taking us here. Do you need a drink? Do you want to go to the ladies room? I love that. Take us up to the studios. Give us free shit. Wow. Oh, so sorry. sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, it's okay. Uh, Appreciate. As of now, we, we're not. We're so not, generous. We don't they have the FCC generous. on us. So, okay. Um, and took us everywhere in the golf cart. It was I golf mean, cart. We, oh. And then there was one point where actually, when Armin 
just started to play. Armin Van Buren started to play. And we had, um, who was the guy with us? Uh, Andy? Oh, Andy. Andy. And we told him. Big guy. Big guy. We said, we're going to get you to the rail. He goes, no way. No way. This is Armin. There's no way. And did we not get him to the rail? <laughs> you got him. We just the rail. went right there. And they're like, oh, my God. We were, he was, we were like, follow us. <laughs> And he, he was, was like, he was like our little protector guy that yeah. was watching over yes. us. Uh huh. And he's like, "There's no way." <laughs> I like how she and said got, the little protector guy. The guy is nine foot like a, tall. Oh, he was big boy. <laughs> and he was like extremely hot, by the way. Oh, oh yeah, he was very he was hot. The nicest guy. And he's I like, think he oh. was from Belgium, or he wasn't. Uh, he wasn't uh, American. And uh, you got uh, him to the rail. We, That's and he's so like, great. You really did. <laughs> like, Aww. yeah, of course. Got him right to the rail. Yeah. So oh, man. I love and it's it. like, that's the way um, oh, these young kids are. I'm, I don't mean to ageism, whatever, but they just see us and they're like, oh, my goodness, I wish my mom, my mom would love to come here, but she's intimate. She's afraid. And that's what this is all about. This yeah, about that's, you making know, making it safer it, or. It, one right. thing that I that I saw in the comments on on many of the videos of you guys on YouTube and and such, Are you ready? Um, is uh, these people that are saying I'm fifty plus, I'm this age, you know, and and I love going to raves, and and I feel yeah. like because you've created a presence on these platforms that these people feel comfortable to yes. say I do it too. Yes. We're out there. We That's exist, exciting. you know, you That's know, exciting. and and it, it really is, you know, because I guess uh, I would be guilty if I didn't know you uh, of saying, you know, uh, oh, raves are for for young folk, like, you know, or, or or people even younger than me, uh which is not saying much, but uh <laughs> 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 No, but you know, it, it it's it's lovely that you have created an outlet for other people to say, I, we, we're out there too. We, you know, we exist and, uh, and, and we're fun. Yeah. And, and it's so fun. And plus all the EDC, EDM, um, families that we belong to on Facebook. I can't, we can't tell you how many times people have said, Oh my goodness, I can really go to that. I can really do that. Yeah. Should I? Yeah, fifty. They were like, I'm four, I'm forty five, I'm fifty. We're like, hello. Like, really? It's like I'm way older than that. <laughs> and they're like, oh, we can't wait to go. Yeah. So, One of the things they, they it's important to know is that yes, like anywhere else, there is crime, and what it is is your phone could get stolen. That's the really big thing. You have to hang on to your phone. But other than that, you don't see fights. No, you don't never see violence. Never violence. People really take care of people. Yes, it's awesome. Young, Aww. old, peaceful time doesn't matter. It's so it's, good. It's so, like Woodstock, but in like the new generation. But modern Aww. times, yeah. Oh God, it really well, is. I hope it's not like Woodstock was a was a complete shit show. I'm hoping that they've learned their lessons from that. No, the original <laughs> one, not the not the second one. Oh, all, even the original one was chaos. We just didn't uh, have social media for it that's true so that's true. um i see you cracking out the beatbox Getting i think it's time to pre out. i think it's time to pregame so while um maybe we'll get somebody to dole it out while we do that okay. there there is a whole it's culture glasses. behind um raves and and edm festivals and and i want to kind of tap into a couple of things i know there's um uh, some traditions yes um I, I, i'm admiring your wrists there ladies and uh so what you clearly uh, have quite a collection what what's going on here what's what's going on on your wrists it's called candy with a k candy with a k k-a-n-d-i ah. okay and it's all about sharing and we are approached often to share candy which we will do with all of you oh and it's, it's spreading the uh, idea of plur which is peace love unity respect oh i love that and, and yes. um insomniac is actually trying to um what's that when you when you t when you take the word and it's like your word mm -hmm. oh, oh they uh, wanted to trademark, trademark it. they're trying to trademark yeah. it yeah you know, people are like, like, uh, no, but you know what? Insomniac really is really the people that. that really uh, push plur. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that's great, you know? too. You, you know, when somebody takes control of something like that, it, it, especially these people that are clearly in the ether of, you know, the, 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 this whole culture of dance music and festivals, mm-hmm. you know, they could take it and, and make it something instead of just being a something that gets lost in the universe. You know? Right, exactly. It's very important that, that people know that most of these raves, most of these festivals are all about peace, love, unity, and respect. Mm-hmm. I love that. It's very so, big. It really is. Oh. They're all, can I say hi to Herb and Fran? Are they still out there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Jackie. <laughs> hi, Ian. I don't know if they're there, but I know Herb and Fran are. Oh, yeah. We you also guys... have someone named Mara. Oh, Mara. Mara Cashman yes. Donovan. Hello, Mara. Hello, Mara. <laughs> Melissa Lopez. Hope you're out there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice! Yeah, we got love it. Uh, I've I've been so enthralled in the conversation. Uh, I've I've not even looked at the comments. So hopefully Jordan <laughs> is doing her due justice there. Yes, there I'm... due diligence. Yep, Thank due you, justice. Jordan. Don't even know. We uh, love you, Jordan. Thank oh. you. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh mm-hmm. man, I'm holding down the chats here. Okay. All right. So, yeah. what is your favorite flavor of beatbox? There, um, I like the blueberry, and I like the what's this one? The, the oh, the fruit punch. Fruit punch. Hard to believe that it's got alcohol in it yeah it, tastes like juice oh it's great all right jordy you're gonna have to you know hit me with some of that fruit punch oh i gotta i gotta see what the fuss is all about what's a fruit punch i'll i'll take the fruit punch one too okay it says does it say what they're 11 percent alcohol yes yeah. yes 11 oh percent alcohol wow. that is uh, almost two beers Yeehaw. Yeah. uh Here. beers are generally like five percent crazy mm-hmm. do you want some joe so beatbox, what's the uh, yeah, what's the deal with beatbox the and, and and the connection between beatbox and uh, well, the festivals? Well, beatbox is usually sold at the EDC festivals, and um, it's it's a nice change off uh, for us from the the harder stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the good yeah, stuff. We just got the level off a little bit, and. Um, <laughs> We belong to several beatbox families on Facebook. Nice. And so we really want to give them a shout out because we love their product. And a lot of the festival goers love their product. So here's the beatbox. Yeah, let's do it. Cheers to beatbox. Okay. It's all Very cool. Here's the beatbox. Yes. Holy Oh, mackerel. wow. Tasty, too. 11%? Mm-hmm. I yeah. Could, I could smash that whole box. That tastes oh, yeah. like go. the childhood popsicles, yeah. but better. Yeah. That's Doesn't a it? Capri Sun. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. good. I yeah. mean, the alcohol is wow. lost. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. But it's, a, good. it's a great drink to just go on a festival. We Like I said, she said, we pregame and then just buy this. And it just sort of keeps you at a smooth level. So we can last all night. So you buy the box like this there? Yes, it comes just like this. And how no. much are they? Do you um, know, roughly? Like expensive. 20 bucks? Uh, maybe. More? Well, this is $20 for the case, but, but we get 20? that at total no. line. But no, oh, okay. No, so but, total, yeah. but individually? Oh, I think there were maybe $18. $18. Oh, okay. okay, I mean, that's but not terrible. You know yeah, I mean, but two of them yeah, can keep you... Going for night. a long time, yeah. but you can at get 11%, this whole. Yeah, you can get this whole thing at Total Wine. Yes, for yeah. twenty bucks. Yes. Oh, yeah. that's a steal. Yes. I mean, no, every. I'm gonna you throw know, my own festival in the backyard. I mean, I, I, I mix drink. There is this big. Yeah, and they're also sixteen, eighteen dollars. Yeah. yeah. So and a beer is fifteen. Yeah. So this, this is, is, is the deal. way to go. Yeah, that's the way. Definitely to go. the way to go. Mm. Huh. Awesome. Yeah. I've never seen such a thing. Yeah. Well, awesome. they're cool. I'm still trying. They're I'm good. St- I'm still, I got to, I got to seek out the Avril Lavigne one. Um, oh, yeah. The pink lemonade. I bet that's probably pretty good. Yep. 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 Uh, U.S. Patriot uh, chimed in, said, Darlene, you and April rock. Well, oh, thank you. Oh, that's urban. Yeah. Ur- yeah. Ur- oh, urban. Oh, her- yeah, oh, oh, urban. Oh, okay. okay. Well, that was just their, their handle there. Yeah. Oh, I only right. know because of earlier. Yeah. And then, um, Mara said that she is a big fan of the Rave Mamas. Oh, it's <laughs> so, awesome. That. Love it. They got your shout out. So, <laughs> um, I guess just to kind of wrap up here, um, <laughs> I'm is still it? not over the, uh, the DJ, the DJ rating guy that you guys have. I love that. You I think it's so brilliant. You can take a closer look. <laughs> you can examine the notes. So now that you guys are, bo- are a public Public figures. Oh my god! I gotta. <laughs> <laughs> public Whoa. figures on the festival scene. Uh, do you 
do you think that this is kind of a 15 minutes of fame type of thing or do you have plans to kind of organize the rave mamas and 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 turn it into something that that or put put the brand to work we're still learning that's okay yeah that's the kind. problem is is at our age we didn't really know how to put things out there sure so we are we're we're still learning if something comes of it it's amazing i mean we did get to go to las vegas um on insomniac's ticket and we really really appreciate that but we also think we might have helped them a little bit sure mm-hmm. so we'll see what happens well I mean, the truth is i mean and and maybe it's, i'm just taking liberties but uh you didn't just help insomniac i believe truly that you helped a lot of older, older people, people realize yes. Yes. that yes definitely they don't have to go and they can go and come out of their shell and and and, and let the the things that originally drew the two of you into this scene to begin with to go and let go of all of your troubles and and just be a part of this this Happy this family. unity this this plur that's yes. just happening right. out there you and, know? and if that's all we do that's <laughs> awesome oh boy yeah <laughs> over here the old brad yay he's passing his way here <laughs> <laughs> Jordan will drink it. Yeah. This Jordan's is- got hers over there. I have some remainder here, too. <laughs> okay. We're taking down the boxes. Oh, yeah, we'll just we'll add awesome. that to the collection. Well, that's what it is. So what, what's the next festival that you that you guys are heading to uh, EDC this year? EDC Orlando, which is November... 10, 11, 12. Ah, November... I, I have to... Jordan was Don't so make confused. Fun of me. Jordan, <laughs> Jordan was so confused. She's like, okay, 10, 10, 11, 12, so like next week? And I was, I looked at her and she was thinking October right. 11th. Well, she and I might was not like, have heard us say November. What year well, do you yeah, think and then we're I did, in? But then just the 10, 11, 12. And I was like, well, usually when, so, I don't know, it's usually a date. I don't know. It don't is a date, Jordan. <laughs> oh, a month, day, year, Ellie, not three days. Heavens. Oh, yeah. Well, this is a, yeah, this is a three day festival and you really have to like it, if you're going to go and you've never gone, you need someone that's been there, mm-hmm. like us, mm-hmm. to know and, and to find out what kind of music you like, like us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just say. Well, so go with the Rave Mamas. You should I, go with the Rave Mamas. I think that I've got, uh, I've got something that you're going to like queued up here. Uh-oh. Because we're going to take a quick break. We're going to get a little, get some refills. Okay. And then when we return, it's time for Name That Tune. Um, and uh, to play a little name that tune with all of you and the two of you. Ooh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Here's a tune from Armin Van Buren right. performing yes. live at Tomorrowland in the Netherlands. Oh. Uh, yes, this is Jams and Cocktails. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. Um, I, I did want to mention, so you, you guys have some wonderful photos with Armin. And uh, he brought you up on stage at yes. ED, uh, yes. EDC Las Vegas. Yes. And uh, there was a photo that, that he put a caption on and uh and he said he said the most beautiful thing and i'm going to read it to you so the armin who you guys just saw performing uh said there's no age limit for a good rave session electric daisy carnival what an incredible energy thank you so much for the love you showed me and these rave mamas rock so uh, i was straight from armin's facebook page oh he's the best uh, which is just wonderful he Love is it. he is one of the top DJs, so that's like unbelievable. Yeah, Aww. I was watching some yeah. of his set. He and, knows and who you ladies are. Yeah, that's awesome. He, he brought them up on stage. Yeah, Did you yeah. missed that. I think I, I saw that. Oh, but good. like, he knows thousands. them. Yeah, thousands I, of people. That was amazing. Yeah, yeah, it was it was crazy. I think uh, what happened, we didn't know where we were going when the golf cart, you know, finally landed behind his trailer, uh-huh. his music trailer, and. Darlene said, "We have no idea where we're going." Yeah, we ended up behind his. We had no idea where we were, and all of a sudden he comes out. I was like, "It's Armin! It's Armin!" I mean, we followed him for like thirty years. Oh yeah, my god, thirty years! And he hugged us and he talked to us, and and then he went over to the Insomniac people, and I think that's when he said, "I want these ladies on stage." So cool! Aww. At that moment, I really so don't think cool. he had yeah. planned that. No, yeah. because the ladies were the the people on the the cart were like, you could see the look Caught on their guard. face, like, <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> As a matter of fact, when we did get get to go up there, they were calling for the camera Our people cameraman. because they didn't they didn't know we were going to be going. Yeah. Oh and wow. He and he wanted us. The, he to got come there. Up on they stage. got there at the last second, yeah. scrambling to yeah, get it together. Yeah, but he oh and, and he's only taken one other person up on stage, and that was um, David Lee Roth. Oh, wow. wow. And we were there for that. We too. were there for that oh, when he my took him God. up on stage. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think I think that That's you amazing. were a better choice. Oh, uh, thank you. No, I'm just kidding. That's awesome, yeah. mm-hmm. David Lee Roth. Wow. Yeah. Oh. How fun. All right, you guys. Well, um, we are back, and it's time to put your knowledge of popular music to the test in a brand new edition of JNC. Name that tune. Yes. All right. The truth is, this is going to be tough. For us, but I think I think the two of you are gonna nail it no, out of the park. Don't we don't know, know names. Songs. We don't know names. <laughs> These we are don't. all right. So uh, <laughs> let me get. I'll, go, I'll do my spiel. Uh, we invite all of our live viewers to play along with us in the chats and comments. Uh, we're looking for the name of the song and the artist performing it. Uh, tonight's category is DJ Hit Me. These are major DJ producers in pop music today. Oh, we're not gonna know. Um, so. Um, uh, let, let's play. Why not? <laughs> Why not? All right. Um, clueless already. <laughs> it's okay. This this is this game hurts everyone. Yeah. Ellie is already already Aww. not even knowing she's <laughs> going to write down. All right, here we go. Jen, Jen's the only one that's. Are you not playing, Jen? Oh, well, she's not God. on the the thing. She could still play. Oh, for do you want a board? Sake. No. Oh, she. she uh, Jen, she doesn't want to be embarrassed. Even off camera. All right, we will. <laughs> All right, first clue here and name that tune. Coming at you, DJ Hit Me. Cause I can into things that I'm gonna do. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Was that low? Did that sound quiet to you guys? Yeah, it's yeah, a, little quiet. a little quiet. Cause I can into things that I'm gonna do. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Anybody writing? Yes. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> no idea what a what did uh, what did Jordan have there? I can't read. Oh, that's that's very close, Jordan. What did you have, Ellie? Uh, n- I mean, yeah, I guess it would be Santana was the clip. Uh, DJ Khaled. Uh, DJ Khaled was the uh, the answer there. Wild thoughts. Rihanna, of course, the feature on that. Wow, 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 never heard of it. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I, 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 I know. know. Yeah, we're just just, <laughs> just we're keep it on like there. I D N. The whole time. Yes. No, it's going to be fine. Go. It, it's going to get better. I promise. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. Next, next clue here. Name that tune. She just wanna do it for the grand. No, she just want this money. Let's play it one more time. She just wanna do it for the grand. You know, she just want this money. <laughs> we don't listen oh, to no. these. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what we listen to, so we're sort of. I wouldn't even know the names this. of the songs that we do listen to. <laughs> <laughs> A few of them. I didn't get that list. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. What do, um, oh, Jordan's crossing things out and oh. writing new stuff. Oh, boy. It's like a fill in the blank. It's like a Mad Libs here. Oh my God. <laughs> Go, Jordan. Yeah. I think I got something. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Oh, Jesse, Jesse tuning in, Jesse Kastner. She said uh, she she recognized Armin uh, through the video there. All right. What do you guys have? Hi, Jesse. What, what, did, you, what did you have, Jordan? Armin. I just ordered sushi from Japan, DJ something. Well done, Jordan. That's that's. <laughs> I guess. I guess. He, he did say I ordered something. Yeah, Sorry, they do yeah. say that though. I I just ordered sushi from Japan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> did you originally put I just got a sushi? I thought it was I got something from Japan. I didn't know what, but then I That's remember funny. it was I ordered sushi. Okay. It is okay. uh it's Jackie Chan by uh Tiesto. Oh, the people they mix with. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like when Tiesto does his own song without mixing with someone 
We would know it's Tiesto. We would know the name, though. No, nah, but what's the fun in that? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's all about the music. <laughs> the vibe. The all right. Vibe. Uh, next. Now uh, you're making us look really, and- really crazy <laughs> stupid. That's okay. I probably wouldn't have gotten any of these on my own accord. And bitch, don't kill our vibe, Brad. <laughs> uh, here's the next clue. Name that tune. DJ Hitman. This one I should know. Uh, this is an oldie but goodie. Yes. Um, Here it is again. Uh, I, uh, Jen, I know the artist. Jen got it. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> uh, our, our, our buddy Jay Bird says no clue tonight. He One minute. No- One more. One more. Just, only because you asked so nicely. I think I got the artist. I don't know the name of the song, though. <laughs> What'd you get? What'd you get? Uh, April <laughs> said I should know this. Diora, know. it's not. No, okay. Aww. What did you have, Jordan? Don't they say something about, like, mother effing Danimal? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, my God, Ellie. <laughs> I'm what? so sorry. I'm so sorry. Is it Sans? No, it's I know, not Sans. Uh, it's, oh, it's not. Uh, I want to say... Ooh. All right, Ellie might have it here. She <gasps> might be the redemption. Oh, or did oh, uh, Mike Snow? No, it's oh. it's Snow something though, isn't it? It's not. Oh. No, this oh. is a uh, this is Animal oh. by or Animals Animal something Animals by Martin Garrix. That's close with uh, animals. Martin <laughs> Garrix. That's why we knew the song, but not the name. Jordan said. Animals. 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 Is like, that a remix? Right? Close <laughs> enough. That's close she enough. Wins. The children's snack. I think there was a remix, like Your a commercial. Animals. I think yes. there was a commercial Your for animals. Danimals or something. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, this All is right. really bad, everyone. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, next clue here. He didn't ask us ahead of time if we knew like the names. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. No, no, we I don't. Can't. We don't know any of them. I don't. I don't let anybody in on the secrets. Uh, I do I love even. Martin Garrix, though. So yeah, good. he's good. You know, somebody told me that that he wrote and recorded that song when he was like 16 years old. That, really? that tune, it was a huge hit on the radio. I knew the song, but I just yeah. yes didn't know. Crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, We've all heard it. We just we just right. Yeah, I know. That's this is what see uh, we educate and inebriate. That's what we do here. <laughs> right. uh, Actively doing that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next clue here uh, for more more shame. There we go. Oh my gosh, I know this one. Here, here's the clue one more time. I feel like I'm that parody yeah. DJ oh. that doesn't get oh. to the drop. I know this. I really do know this. This is so uh, not oh. to give clues, but maybe a clue. Th- this is this is a s- term that has just permeated pop culture talk these days or just at least for when i was a uh in my 20s you know uh now and it's every, not now everybody just says it and it's not turn up for who yes <laughs> oh wow yeah. no i, I can't do that yes i can't do but that. it's opposite turn up the- <laughs> uh jaybird jaybird he got it in the chats there yeah turn up the turn up the Turn up the Oh man, you guys you guys you remember when you said that people were like pranking you or, or not yeah. or like fake people were messaging you yeah, on who's Facebook? Fake? I just got a fake message from a friend from an account that I know's been hacked. Ah! Oh wait. And, I, and they Who? like what's up? up? Wait, 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 no, wait. wait. All right, what do you what do you guys have here wait, in the lounge? Turn up the Turn up the shots? Oh no. Is it no. turn up the I mean oh. we could do that. Turn what? up the shots. Let's, let's, what you got. <laughs> let's see what you got. Turn up the shots. Oh, what do you God. have, Ellie? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, what? Uh, I know. I can't. Eleanor. Turn up, turn, oh my gosh. You got anything there, April? Ooh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Play it one more time, Brad. <laughs> yeah, down why, with why that. Not? Something like that. Down with that. Turn up the. Turn up the oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! Okay, so bad. Oh. sorry. What, what, go ahead. What Just is go. it, Jordan? Next. She's got it. 
It is turn down, turn down for, for what? what? But no. And Lil John was featured, <laughs> but it's DJ Snake. Who's yes. Lil? Uh, who's I? Who's Lil John? Lil John and the East Side Boys. Turn down for what? No idea. He sang the get. Or wait, yeah, get low. No, yeah. no, yeah, no, no, no he was. The, oh yeah, he was get low. Oh, to the window, to the wall. That's no. the same song. No. To the sweat get low. down my get low. No, no, little John for me. But no. DJ Snake was the uh, the the artist, the the main artist on that track. So that's Turned the, down the for thing what? is, is that when you when you mix it, like a DJ with a singer, yeah, no, yeah, no. no clue. So that's the genre that Darlene doesn't like. We, we, we've yeah. discovered it. I, I do like when they when the DJs um, make their own songs. Sure. But and, when they do the mix, I don't know them. So what I think mm. is interesting, and, and maybe we're on to something here, but mm. I think it's a wonderful way for these DJ producers to make their way to the to the secular pop world, yes, you know? Exactly. And and they awesome. and, and they're able to they get on the radio because they team up with these these amazing pop artists right. and and then everybody all of a sudden knows, you know, Martin Garrix. Even right. though Animals didn't have any feature on it, somehow that yeah. just managed to make it on the radio on right. its own. Amazing. But Tiesto, who's been around for a million years. Thirty years. But yeah. like yeah. that song was a huge hit with Post Malone and, mm-hmm. and Friends. Right. Um, yeah. You know, and then Wild Th- DJ Khaled is the biggest sellout genius in of our time when it comes to uh partnering with these one not a sellout that's a huge mm. with, with partnering with creates people, right? wonderful pop music um but you know a dj by trade mm. and uh and now he's one of the biggest names yeah. in, in pop world right wow can i can i say something though nope i'm yeah. just kidding i'm <laughs> yeah. kidding of course right. you can't okay, no fine. i mean not everybody that's that's a dj though is a edm music person right 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 you know there's a lot of djs that you say they play the music and they mix with pop people sure and um and that's great for them it's just not what we listen to. right no it makes sense it makes sense yeah. and, and it's evident when you when you really dive into edm radio or, or edm playlists or things right. like that like it's it's songs i never heard before right you know yes. and and uh but they're but they're great and it, it's it's really just sets a vibe more than anything else um the really big thing they're doing right now though is that they're they're doing a lot of remixing with old disco mm-hmm. and old club music and mm-hmm. old um uh blues like the, awesome. the rock blues so that we would know all right okay. well, that's mm-hmm. good to know for next mm-hmm. time let's go for another one this is the last one <laughs> and this was a massive massive hit so mm-hmm. i expect none so of you when to get we it. get it wrong <laughs> Here it is. You shut it out, but I can't hear. Ew. Here's that clue one more time. Ew. You shut it out, but I can't hear. Jordan, did you say ew? <laughs> You're so. No. I don't even know the word <laughs> to describe you. Oh, okay. Was it Blondie? Yeah, I don't uh, know who sings that. No, not Blondie. That's not right. Well, I tried. Hmm. You did try, uh, and that's that's important. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jordan! Don't Jordan's know. writing and erased. She wrote a whole name and then erased it. I was gonna put Pitch Perfect. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, from love Pitch Perfect. Yeah, it was in there. Yeah. All right, what do you have, Ellie? You look like you got something. Uh, it is. It's not bulletproof. Uh, and but Sia is the feature on it. Uh, oh, oh, Sia! Sia. Uh, this is David Guetta's Titanium. Oh, oh. Yeah, I wrote Titanium. You got yeah, it. Yeah, she got yeah. it. She got it. She got it. it. She awesome. wrote. She wrote Pitch Perfect as the artist. Yeah. Well, I, I almost wrote bu- Bulletproof also. I get you, those two songs confused. Yeah. So have you guys two. seen the, the the horror film Megan? About the the android, no, girl. no. Um, no. It, it's it, it it's great. Really, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, but wow. there's a there's a scene where she's like singing a lullaby to the little girl, oh, and no. she sings Titanium in her no. weird robot voice. Oh my goodness! And, oh, wow! Uh, wow! It, it the, highly recommend it. Halloween's coming. Yes. Um, get on it, Megan. It was was so cool. They had a really great promotional thing. Oh. Um, to the point where they were like. 
if you liked one of their posts, Megan immediately sent you a direct <laughs> message on Facebook. Oh, that's scary. And you could talk to it. And and I did it for a while. That's and cool I was and like, scary. I was like, nope, X out, never block, never <laughs> message me again. Uh, but no, it was it was a cool film, pretty cool concept. I'm sure you guys are going to have a Halloween podcast. We are going to have a Halloween. We're going to talk about it in just a little bit. But uh, that's the name of that tune. You guys did so bad. Do you ladies yeah, want to come? We were terrible. We were terrible. You're so terrible. Do you guys want to come to Halloween? <laughs> oh, I'm going to be out of town. Uh, of course you are. Yeah. Speaking well, April of can come. Sorry. <laughs> you know, Darlene, I, I have to admit for, for years we have been trying to rope you into one of our Halloween episodes uh, because you are also a paranormal investigator. Yes, I am. Among your many other hats that you're wearing. Yes. Um, so uh, without going into incredible detail, what is what is the most crazy investigation that you went on and what was the craziest thing you experienced? Um, I have two, but I'll just tell you one. Only because we're going back, my team is going back to Brushy Mountain Penitentiary next week. Where is that? That's in uh, Tennessee. Nice. And there were five girls sitting in the gym in the pitch dark. And um, when you make a noise, you go, that's us or that's me. So that when you shuffle, you know that. And we're sitting there and you hear shuffling and my friend Rena uh, said, that's us. And you hear a voice on video and, or on recording that said, no, that's me. And it's a man's voice. It's very deep and it's very strong. And that was just last year. So that's why we're going back. Oh, hey, and that, that friends is an EVP. Mm -hmm. uh, we learned about this recently on an episode. <laughs> Yes. We have very many haunted spots here on the Treasure Coast of Florida, um, and mm -hmm. uh, we did an episode about some of the local haunts here. And I was out and, of town again. <laughs> and you were out of town again. Um, but yeah, the but probably doing a paranormal investigation. Mm -hmm. But that's crazy. And it came through on was it when one recorder or oh it, no three recorders. It was the same sound. Yeah. And you um, didn't and you didn't hear it in in real life. Not at all. Wow. So that was that was one of them, and a very quick one is that my friend Chris and I were at a, a hotel, and um, they always see a cat, like running through, and so before we went to sleep, she she said, "Here, kitty, kitty, kitty," and in the middle of the night, you felt something jump on your bed, and push the covers down, and turn around like it was a cat. A and it pushed right up cat? against you. A ghost cat. You're talking wow. to Ellie's paranormal a ghost part. cat. It was a ghost. And it, it, no <laughs> doubt there was nobody there. That's crazy. So. What does it take for a cat to manifest itself like that? Cats That's deserve that. Okay. <laughs> I, I think they they deserve the I afterlife. think if a cat wasn't, I mean, this is a beautiful home. <laughs> and I honestly believe that the cat didn't want to go. Wow. The, so, we could have a whole other and we will have a whole yeah. other podcast on oh, many on many stories stuff. i could but, sh pictures oh, but my yes. god yeah so we're in spooky season and yes. we are doing a halloween special and we're, we're still working out the details but but i got something brewing um mm -hmm. so it, it's gonna be good it's gonna be good awesome. um uh jordan do, we're gonna what do you have written there do you have a <laughs> Oh yeah, let's do that before we get into the Jordy files. Um, look at she's doing her producer duties over there awesome. <laughs> in right. silence. So before we get into Jordan's news segment, um, let's uh, let's talk about those bracelets again. Yes. So oh, you, you mentioned uh, during the break call, that we had uh, th they were th you had some special ones there. Yes. So the plur, w what would you call this ceremoniously? Okay. Well, Explain it. It's peace, love, unity, respect. And when we go to the raves, uh, we exchange bracelets, candy. It's called candy. Candy, K K sure. K-A-N-D-I, um, with other rave goers. And um, they make theirs, we make ours. And you sort of like pick the, when you meet the person, you sort of like, hmm, which one would be most fitting okay. for them to have? And um I have special ones for you guys. Oh, but what you do though? You want to just show them how to do it? 
we, we you want us to do it to each other. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, well, this, so, I didn't know this was this yeah. kind of show, but but please do it to each other. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so you see so somebody, in the know. you see someone, and you walk up and you go like this, peace. and then they go back. So that That's means peace. peace. Okay. Love, love. The heart. Oh, I love that. Unity. Unity. And then you exchange. Except for we did it the wrong hand. Oh, you have. Your oh, hand. Okay. so you, <laughs> and then. Wait, so you just roll it over your so your you hands? Roll it over. And roll it over. That's Ooh. that's cool. And then you roll one. And then I'll me. give her one. And that's and that's it. And, and then, then we, oh. and then you always hug. Oh. oh. And you meet these people. That's the ritual. And that's how you do I it. I love it. The ritual. Yes. So okay. if you walk up to somebody and they're just sitting there and you just go like this, and they and know they, that they know. they know that you want to give them plur. Oh, how cool so, is that? Oh, I mean, cute. I had bracelets up to here. Oh, I'm going to cry. And by <laughs> half of them, she, you know, you see someone that doesn't have any. And oh, you got to give them peace you, of love. You got to give them peace, love, yes. unity, yeah. and respect. Because in the hug is respect. Oh. Yeah. No, I love that. Even okay. If, yes. Even if so, they don't have any, we give them I only have one bracelet. Aww. I'm happy to give it. Away, I've already taken but it she, from Jordan. Uh, she she has bracelets for you guys. We have every we have bracelets for every, all of you. Oh, okay. So how do we do this? Do we plur? Well, or do we want to do it? We guys. can do it on break. On a break, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll do, do it on a break. And film it. Break. And film it. Film it. Oh, I love that. You guys are that. you guys are so awesome. Thank Aww, you. Thank Aww. you for having us. Thank you for coming. Hmm. Well, are you guys ready to see the worst part of the show? Oh boy! It's <laughs> time oh my to, goodness. It's uh, <laughs> high time that we dive into our entertainment news delivered by the latest graduate yes. of the Hooked on Phonics program. This is the Jordy <laughs> Files. Oh, no. Jordy. <laughs> Jordan. All right. Jordan, Jordan, we'll, Jordan. We'll try to fly <laughs> through this a little bit. Oh, yeah. So that well, we can carry well, on to the good, good stuff. Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, we're going to try. Welcome to the Jordy Files. And tonight we are going to talk about some trouble for Aerosmith. Uh, Post Malone's teeth are worth more than my house. <laughs> well, that's hard to believe. Um, what the hell is iridescent popcorn what is that a break in two the tupac shooting did you all hear about this Mm -mm. breaking news (laughs) and something spooky comes to the pizzle port st lucy uh here are some celebrity birthdays to start actress melissa benoys Known for her roles in Glee and Supergirl, <laughs> is 35 years old today. Brad phonetically broke it down for me. I broke so it down for her phonetically. How I read. I'm a so very this nice is good. Man. Thank you, Brad. I need that all the time. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey actress Dakota Johnson is 34 today. Actress, actress, and animal activist. Wow, that is a lot of A's. Alicia Silverstone is 47 years old today. Wow. Oh, man, you're going so quick, and I'm not even moving. Oh, I'm sorry. (laughs) So there's Dakota, and there's Alicia. Okay, we're all caught up now. Academy Award-winning actress Susan Sarandon, whom I absolutely love, is celebrating her 77th birthday today. Wow. Oh, wow. She's all that. Do you all remember that movie? Mm -hmm. Actress Rachel Lee Cook is 44 today. Def Jam founder Russell Simmons is 66 today. There's like a lot of double double birthdays today. Yeah, 40. 77, 44, 66. Yeah, crazy. Uh, Play the lottery. Yeah, yeah no those kidding. are the numbers, <laughs> folks. We just gave it away here. Uh-oh. Actor um, <laughs> Leave Schreiber. Schreiber, Schreiber is 56 <laughs> years old today. Yep, doesn't even matter at the... <laughs> I wrote it phonetically. It's yeah. the beatbox. Yeah, yeah, it's the beatbox. We can blame it on the beatbox. Yeah. <laughs> um, so happy birthday, everyone! Oh, okay, that's him. Yep. Aerosmith postpones tour due to a vocal injury. 
So Aerosmith has postponed the remaining 2023 dates of their farewell <laughs> Peace Out tour. How appropriate. To 2024 due to Steven Tyler's mm. severe vocal cord injury mm. and larynx fracture. Hasn't he always said that? I know. Hasn't this happened a couple times? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just like in general, his whole career? <laughs> like every... Dang. The 75-year-old frontman's recovery requires comprehensive medical attention. Despite the setback... I feel like he is, it wasn't... He's had issues, though. He yeah. It wasn't yeah. his vocal... Yes. It was different. Yeah, yeah, or it's, maybe... It's, it's mostly the drugs. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. Um, so despite the setback... Tyler expressed sadness and assures fans of a return once he's recovered. The tour marks 50 years of Aerosmith and serves as their grand finale. We'll see about that. Um, oh, well, if you all didn't feel poor enough in this day and age, <laughs> Post Malone, he lost a $600,000 tooth diamond, not once, but twice, what? so one point two million dollars wow. in diamonds. It was the same diamond. Oh, the same one. Oh, okay. Teeth. Yes. Oh, so, God. wow. Yes. Post Malone, in a whimsical misadventure, twice lost and recovered a six hundred thousand dollar twelve carat diamond embedded in his teeth. Ooh. Wow, that's when you know you just have money you don't know what to do with. Right. First in Rome, and then in South America. Uh, managing to salvage it on both occasions with quick thinking and luck. Yeah, where did he find it? Just casually well, the, on the ground the by in, his... The one in Rome, he actually um, he dropped down a, a drain <gasps> and uh, manufactured some sort of scoop to like go down in there and, and, and get it out. Uh, I mean, you know, 12 carats. He's uh, a wild man. It's, it's uh, you yeah. know, not that hard, I guess. <sighs> How big are his teeth? <laughs> at least enough to hold 12 carats worth of diamonds oh my gosh these incidents have uh lent captivating stories what to the artist's repertoire repertoire we're gonna get through this <laughs> and together. even inspired his 2022 album 12 carat toothache that's cute um <laughs> so yeah glad you found your gigantic diamond twice so um and then what the hell is iridescent popcorn cinemark theaters will be offering special edible treats and collectibles for screenings of ugh, taylor swift's the arrows tour of course it would have to do with taylor concert film including enchanting iridescent popcorn themed popcorn tubs and exclusive design cups Fans can also receive free mini posters and partake in giveaways, such as a private Swifty party. Ugh. The film opening on October 13th has witnessed pre-sale ticket numbers more than 10 times higher than any other special in-theater presentation, according to Cinemark. What do you guys think of Taylor Swift? Are we a fan? I'm not going to lie. Are we a Swifty? I've been listening to a lot of Taylor Swift lately. No. I'm sorry. Ellie. It's, it's a it's a bop, dude. Ellie, it's no. A bop. No. I it's listened to Taylor Swift the entire way here today. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Oh, my oh, God. They, no. she, they oh. got her. They got oh, her, Jordan. No, you're part of the oh. cult. Oh. <laughs> We have to send her. We have to send her to somewhere. Okay, so I mean, oh, no. since she's been dating Travis Kelsey, right? That shit's Allegedly, been, it's just been everywhere. It's all over my Instagram because I follow NFL, so it's just like now it's all Taylor Swift, and I hear the songs, and I'm like, that's just kind of catchy. And then I listen to the song, and now I'm sucked in. Now oh, I'm, she I'm there. You. She's yeah. at every football game. Yeah. Every she's everywhere. Game. She all yeah. of a sudden loves it now. Yeah. Well, to be fair, she's a huge she, Eagles she, fan. To be fair, all these uh, stadiums yeah. she's going to, she put more asses in the seats than the artists there. That uh, oh that are, for sure, or the or the football teams that own them. <laughs> I did I did see a, a video though where she was walking into the stadium, and there was a young kid like nine years old that was standing there with his hand out with a wanted an autograph and she just busted right by 
And then she caught him out of the corner of her eye and she went back and she signed it. And she said, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't see you because he was only like Aww. three and a half she's foot a tall. Su- she's so a I, I got to give her credit for that because I apparently she does that a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah no. She definitely does things like when people aren't looking, like things you should do yeah. that a lot of people don't do. Yeah. And when I she think she's do, a nice she's person, not, but like. Like on her way out of video. But are you, oh, you're talking about her music? Yeah. I don't know her music. Oh. Because it's. Keep it that way, darling. Yeah. It's not, <laughs> yeah. It's not will, EDM and it's not really country. So yeah. you know what I mean. And some of it's catchy, but it's also like shoot yourself in the face catchy. Oh, kind boy. of, you know. Oh, oh, okay. Anyway. Um, it's okay. We still. Oh, wait. It's okay. We we still love you over there. Yeah. <laughs> we understand. <laughs> we love you. We love yeah. you. I just know she signs autographs when people don't see it. Yeah. She does yeah. sweet things. She's a nice girl. She's a sweet girl. Um, Tupac <laughs> shoot, <laughs> shooting a suspect arrested after 27 years. So Dwayne Keith D. Davis um, implicated in, in the 1996 shooting death of rapper Tupac Shakur in Las Vegas has been arrested and charged with murder with additional sentencing enhancements for the use of a deadly weapon and alleged gang activity gang 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 (laughs) previously a suspect and admitting his role in his 2019 memoir davis's comments in the book revived the police invest police Wow. I just, word, had, beatbox. I just had blame it on a, the beatbox. A stroke. <laughs> what is says, going on? Blame here? it on the beatbox. I don't know. I feel like this has all been one run on sentence and I don't know. <laughs> Davis's da- it's it's the Davis Davis. Davis's that got me all messed up. Davis's comments. <laughs> Brad, can you help me? <laughs> Davis's <laughs> comments uh, in, the in the book. Thank you. Go ahead. Revive the police oh, investigation, um, and uh, <laughs> Jesus leading to his arrest. Prosecutors <laughs> attribute Shakur's killing to East Coast, uh, West Coast, or East West Coast gang and a uh, rap rivalry, highlighting a violent confrontation involving Shakur and Davis's nephew on that fateful night. Shakur's sister calls the arrest a pivotal moment amid lingering criticism of the investigation process. Okay. Over the last oh. 27 years. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, oh, where is it? <laughs> so did he actually... Oh, Try it, the blue. So did he actually Sorry. admit to it? Yes. In his 2019 memoir? Yes. Ooh. So people have known since 2019, and it's just now come yeah, to but there was Yeah, but there was no proof there was no evidence okay but it, he brought it to light in 2019 and but, we're just now getting to this point but he can't they can't use that with anything without but anything how is it not i just mean like up. in the social medias how has it not been like a known thing oh, like why is this the that. first You're we're right. hearing about it yeah mm-hmm. it's like this has been four years ago right well this is the first time it's made it to Oh, these people too anyway, obsessed with Taylor Swift uh, uh, to know about Tupac have here. Have a sip of that, and then we'll move on to the last story. Oh, that smells the, the blue chest. raspberry one tastes a little bit like cotton candy. Doesn't oh, it? Yeah, it's yeah, so good. Yeah, it's good. That's right. we're talking about the beatbox. So yeah, you guys have to try it. Oh, yeah, that's good too. Yeah, that one's good. Mm-hmm. Old oh, 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 Brad's gonna try. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh-huh. tasty, tasty. Right. We're saying like we need to get a shaved candy. ice machine. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, we want to yeah. trans dance later. Yeah. Wait, wait, yeah. wait, I gotta, I gotta put it oh, up yeah. there. <laughs> we're gonna put it on the TV. Well, you're gonna spearhead it because we don't know what we're doing. But mm-hmm. is there a certain dance for it? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. You'll All have right, to Jordan, teach us. Okay. Let's get okay. through the oh, last sorry. story. <laughs> and then last but not least, the okay. PSL Definitely haunted not, house. Yes, Definitely no, not least. Yes. Definitely, Definitely not. Yes. So something spooky is coming to Port St. Lucie, Uh as if there's not enough. Um, Mercy Asylum Productions introduces a thrilling two-in-one haunted house experience, ladies, Mm -hmm. Um, this October, of course. The attraction features two distinct haunted houses connected by a maze, um, promising visitors an adrenaline fueled journey through an a through alien encounters my heavens and eerie park legends mm-hmm. 
whatever that means. Oh, Camac oh, Park. Yeah, oh. we know about that. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Open on select nights at 215 Southeast Port St. Lucie Boulevard. Mm. Tickets are priced at $20 with proceeds supporting Graceway Village, the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and the VEDS Movement. Hmm. More information is available at www.mercyasylum.com. And for all of you that don't know, that is next to Winn-Dixie at um, Bayshore and Port St. Lucie Boulevard. Yeah, literally just over the bridge from our studio here. Yes. Um, right at the turnpike. Oh. So if you can find the Win of Dixies, you will find the asylum. <laughs> yeah, two, go, two go minutes get crazy. Go get crazy, people. Yeah, go through the maze. It's good for a good, it's good for uh, the blood pressure. No, or no. something. <laughs> something. <laughs> yeah. But and that's No, the money goes for something well. Yeah, for good oh. stuff. For yeah, good stuff. That is yeah. pretty awesome. Mm. We like that. Yeah. We like a good cause. I can't go cuz I punch. Oh. <laughs> don't you, touch. You'll attack the I, you'll don't attack touch, the workers. I punch. Yes. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've had a bad experience at one, so I don't like to do them. But so that's why I go paranormal investigate. You can. Punch oh, you just want to go all the way in. You can You're go like, all the way in. Screw that level one. Let's yeah. go right to level ten. <laughs> you yeah, got it. there you go. <laughs> and that's all we have this week in the Jordy files. And I'm so sorry that I couldn't speak. Um, <laughs> we'll work on it. Awesome. The rave mamas they, make me nervous. Do they offer, oh, do they offer remedial? Um, uh, hooked on Pontus classes. <laughs> yeah, I think we need a refund. <laughs> she Paige. needs Duolingo for English. Paige uh, <laughs> chiming in. She said, uh, "She said, oh. I white girl cannot even with the Jordy files this week." Hashtag hot mess. Yeah, have you ever seen so many strokes in one <laughs> session? Yeah, oh my know. god, that was a lot. Uh, my bad. All right, you guys. Well, we're gonna take. Um, uh, in fact, we're gonna take. One more break. Up next, we got Ellie's Bad Bitch Bible Study and our Ooh. shameless plugs. Uh, and then... Um, That's exciting. Yeah, we're here with yeah. the Rave Mama. Don't touch that dial. This is JNC. We'll be right back. Okay. Nice. Yeah. That was shipwrecked. Now, I have to ask. That was, that was this past year at EDC Las Vegas. Did you catch that set? Yes, we, actually, we uh, have a video of it. No kidding. Yeah, we were we were in front of the um, what do they call it? in front of the rail, and they allowed us to walk down and video all of them. They were very good. We mm-hmm. love shipwreck. Yeah, they they, 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 awesome. they have a they have that entire their entire set from EDC Las They're Vegas great. on uh, on their Facebook or I'm sorry uh, their YouTube channel. Yeah, and uh, I, it was. I picked them because I I saw an interview with you, Darlene, yes. asking like who you who you were listening to at the time, who your favorite was, and you mentioned Shipwreck. So I was like, oh, let me go mm-hmm. and yeah, see yep. what they're doing. Yeah, yep. so oh, it's right. so good. Yeah, they awesome. were great. Yep. Uh, all right. Well, um, trying to get my life together here, you guys. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, um, we are back and. It's time for uh, for all of you to take some notes because uh, Ellie, do you have do you have something prepared? Oh yeah. Okay, good. Oh, Always. Oh, yeah. oh, that's good to know. This is Ellie's bad bitch Bible study. So I've wanted to ask you guys, because I like electronic music and kind of my two favorite genres are dubstep and um, drum and bass. So how do you guys feel about those? I love drum. Uh, I like dub. I, I, yeah. It's the beatbox. We're going to start again. I like dubstep. Mm-hmm. I do like drum and bass more. Okay. Yeah. I, I like drum I, and bass more. I do like that a lot. Okay. I'm, ju- I'm definitely um, drum and bass, but uh, mostly trance, chill. Techno. I I like trance too, yeah. like house music kind of house stuff. Music. Yeah. 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 Yes. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Dubstep's not bad, but dubstep. Uh, pretty. Too chaotic for me. It, it, it can be. Like, yeah. Ew. Yeah. I feel like it's repetitive sometimes. Yeah. It gets a little boring. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Am I supposed to talk in the microphone? That's a little boring. <laughs> All right. Hi. Hi. Um. So, I mean, just 
in honor of the rave mamas just a reminder to everyone that there's no age limit on fun and enjoying the things that you enjoy you know like I don't know. My I'm mid thirties. My entire house is pink. It's something I've always wanted to do. And that's what I enjoy. And I feel like some people, when I tell them that they're like, you're too old for that. And it's like, there is no such thing. There's no such thing. You enjoy what you enjoy, no matter what age. And like, if you're, if you're putting an age limit on something on, on fun and happiness on music, on music, like and colors of your house yes like you're just limiting yourself to so many amazing things Mm -hmm. um and i know we've all been victims of something where we're talking about something that we enjoy and someone's like ew you like that you know Mm -hmm. or just some kind of negative comment back about that right and it's just like let people enjoy what they enjoy um i know i've had where like because i'm big into sports and as girls like into sports and jen you you know you're heavy into college football and i don't know if you've experienced or someone's just like you know oh well tell me this this and this like tell me some facts about it i'm mostly men do that shit but (laughs) um you know or oh i like i like listening to this type of music okay well tell me about this artist and this artist and this artist oh you don't really know about it kind of thing um but there's there's let people enjoy what they're gonna enjoy and don't ever be afraid to enjoy something i'm not afraid to enjoy taylor swift while jordan's out of the room (laughs) (laughs) um but yeah at any age have your fun go out if you want to go out to to a festival and enjoy yourself like there there's nothing stopping you but you don't let anyone else tell you that you're not allowed to do that or that you're too old to enjoy that or you're too young to enjoy that. Go out and do the thing. If you want to be 15 years old and your favorite thing is bingo with the ladies, go and do it. Bingo yeah. is so much fun. Yeah. Are you kidding me? I agree. I love bingo. Um, But yeah, go out, have your fun. Don't let anyone else tell you that you are not allowed to enjoy something and don't let anyone else's negative comments prevent you from going out and enjoying the things that you love. Love that. That's awesome. Nice. Perfect. LA, LA, that was great. Can I I make a comment on that? Absolutely. We we call it picklebacking. Okay, can I pickleback you? Absolutely. Going to these raves, you see a lot of women that are larger, and they're very worried about what they should wear. Oh, wear what? Yeah. I love I love the rave outfits. I don't care Thank who you. it's on. I Thank love you. seeing. They're so cool. They're so unique and they're so cool. And all the bright colors or like the jewels and stuff. Like, it's so fun. If I, I want to go to an electronic event with you guys. Oh, my God. You guys got to go. And we're all wearing them skimpy rave outfits. We're doing it. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know about us, Even but Brad. you guys should. I'll do it. I'll do it. I don't care. Seriously, I mean, women don't they they learn there that it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's not a it's not a it definitely is not a sexual thing. It is not the way you look. It's just the people that you are. Yes. So Correct. Yep. I and that's that. one thing it's that I about love. love about that kind of culture and like i love that you guys are so heavily involved in that because that is everything about you guys is just so open and warm and welcoming Mm -hmm. um and i love that that you guys are a huge part of that culture that's so awesome thank you Thank and you. we well, hope you accompany us. Absolutely. Yes. Guys, I would love you, to. We would love you guys to go with us. I'm, yes. I'm ready. I it think I'm be, ready for It my would be first, a wild and yes. crazy time, but it would EDM be wonderful. Festival. I, I, I will, think I'm ready. You will absolutely love it. It's just unbelievable. Uh, mm-hmm. All right. Well, I, I would definitely, I would definitely probably need a laminated <laughs> itinerary to, yeah. to put around my neck. 
Okay. I have gone to some events where they have given us lanyards with the, with the laminated, you know, like mm. daily itinerary. That's cool. And I was like, this is everything. Yeah. This is the this is the key to everything. Because um, otherwise, I'm not showing up to anything. I'll stay at one thing, and that'll be the that'll be life. Um, all right. Wonderful message, Ellie. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you, Ellie. That's that was awesome. great. Mm-hmm. I think uh, at this point we're going to uh, jump right into our shameless. Plugs. Oh. Yes, shameless plugs. So this is the time where we're going to go around the room and we're going to just Ooh. talk about all the things that we need to plug, all the people that we need to plug, oh. groups. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely plug Tim once again. Yeah. Because uh, okay. he's a he's a big deal. So uh, we'll start with um, we'll start with Ellie. Ellie, any shameless plugs there to start? Um. Yes. All right. So. As everyone knows, I work for Tijuana Flats. Um, And if you do not have our loyalty app, you're missing out because there's a lot of free stuff that you will get on the loyalty app. Um, If you download it today, you get free tacos since today is National Taco Day. What? Yeah. Uh, So if you are a new loyalty member, you can download the app right now, get some free tacos. Um, if you are a existing loyalty app member, uh, you get a free starter. So, free stuff. Everyone loves free stuff. Download the Tijuana Flats app and then come see me and get some free food. Nice. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Uh, before we move on to uh, more shameless plugs, uh, uh, our good friend Paul Robertson from the Drums and Rums podcast yeah. asks, are you ladies going to the Dead Mouse concert? Coming up? No, we're not. No. Do you guys like Dead Mouse? Like How do you feel? Yeah, we do. We do. We, we do. It's just we have to. We're older. She's we're away. what? You're away. And I'm gonna be away. Ah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's 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 tough too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So Paul, I'm not going to Dead Mouse. Sorry, Paul. Uh, Paul also wanted to know, Ellie, are you? Uh, oh, where, where was it? He says uh, I'm not too old for a Willie Nelson concert. He said he has a ticket. I love Willie <gasps> Nelson. Oh, that'd be good. Oh, look at <laughs> Darlene, you just. <laughs> I don't know, Paul. You might have to. You might have to choose between. I'll Ellie probably and be out of town. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you really quick though. I have a picture of me and Willie Nelson back in 1982. Oh, wow. I have a picture of 2018 signing a picture of me and Willie Nelson in 2011. Sent in a picture of me and Willie Nelson in 2006, I think, or five. Oh, my God. I have it all the way up I from, from 1982. Oh, it goes, dang. it's like seven, seven categories of me and Willie. Oh, oh and I, really and I did do, I, I, and I drank a bud on his with Willie. Oh, that is cool. Aww. I love that. You could drink with Willie. But you should <laughs> never ever smoke with Willie. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna lose. I couldn't. <laughs> couldn't do it. Oh. Couldn't. All right, um, ladies. Any shameless plugs? Uh, I, I know you mentioned that you had some groups, Facebook groups that you wanted to plug, and some other things that you you, you wanted to plug there. Oh, the beatbox group definitely. Um, beatbox. Wait. Beatbox. <laughs> they deserve an air horn. Beatbox. Smash your mouth and do beatbox. Yeah, that's that's I, the group. I, I, ah. I mm-hmm. want to. I just want to say this is the first time I've ever tried beatbox, and you love it, and I and I love it. I, I, I generally, awesome. gen, generally, generally, and mm-hmm. genuinely, in fact, ah. uh, do I, I think? I think Jordan, my life has changed forever. What do you think? Love them. Love them. Good. Go. Yeah. What do Jordan, you think? Oh, so- these are amazing, and I don't normally like like. Yeah. Fruity kind of cocktails. Yeah. What does the no, mango one awesome. taste like? Did it's we try that sweet. yet? Is that we the last would. one in the box? Yeah. yeah. Are we ready? This is mango. Juicy mango. Yeah. Oh. Do we want to try this one? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh oh. Thank yeah. you guys for Why bringing this, by the way. Yeah. So while we're doing that, I'm going to like shout oh, out boy. to. <laughs> Am I allowed to shout out now? Yes. Yeah. Oh. So. <laughs> There's a DJ, his name's Dombrowski. Dombrowski. And he's amazing. And he he loves us. Aww. He um, and, follows us, we follow him, and he, we were on stage with him at EDC. 
and um, he's he, awesome. He didn't really know we were on stage, <laughs> but he <laughs> turned we around. Let him know. He turned around and like gave April a hug, and Aww. then afterward he made like a comment about the rave mamas. So we have to do a shout out to him because we're looking forward to seeing him in Orlando. Correct. Awesome. Is, is Armin coming to Orlando yes. as well? Oh, my oh, we'll God. We'll be there. Yes, oh, we'll he be will. there. Yes. I, I, I just want to be like, we want to be at the rail and just wave at him because I know we'll never get another chance to do what we did. I don't Never say never. No. Uh, but, uh, but I was... When I was listening through his set at, uh, on in Vegas, yes, uh, I was like, "This guy, it's just so it's in his in his DNA yes. to mix music, yes. and like he just knows what the audience wants." I imagine that his sets are completely different everywhere he goes. He performs like a musician, reads the crowd, and like works that crowd. It's so crazy. But, but you got to tell him what he does. He does a, say, a state of trance podcast every day. Really? Every, every day. day. Every A-S-O-T. day? A-S-O-T. And every day. And it's up to what? Oh, my a, God. Like 1,480 or something? Oh, my God. Episodes? 1,500s. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, it's my amazing. Gosh. Can I tell April, my, April can has I a story. story. Got to tell the story. Gotta, all right. I have a story about the a state of trance. When I was living on Long Island, I was friends with this crazy girl. I'm not going to mention her name, <laughs> but Sally. We, <laughs> Sally. She actually brought me to my first Armin concert. Really? At um, Madison Square Garden. Okay. Then. So, uh, time travels, and um, we're uh, she's spending the night at my my house. I'm spending the night at her house. She was coming to my house on the the Long Island Expressway, and his state of trance came on the radio on. Can I mention serious? Yeah, okay. of course. Okay. And um, it was number 666. Six, six. Oh, my God. <laughs> Nancy is like, "Get turn the radio off. Turn the radio off. It's the devil. It's the <laughs> she devil. just name it's dropped gonna, her. <laughs> it's go, it's, it, he's going to infect the she radio. She doesn't know it's yet. To, oh, my God. And it's like, oh, my God. Turn the radio off. It's like, what the hell? This woman was crazy. So oh I learned that God. like a year later, but anyway. <laughs> so tell us, tell us more about Nancy. Nancy. Oh. <laughs> oh. You said her name. I can't. I can't. I you can't. say it three times, she might appear. No, well, we're we're blocked. Yeah, that's true. Um, she might. We're blo I blocked. I blocked her. Uh, this, uh, done. No. Done. Done. Over. Um, but anyway, she though, if he's not doing a concert or a, a I shouldn't even call it a concert, if he's not doing a festival. <laughs> Or whatever he, I don't. I'm trying to, I'm crazy? trying to help her. If he's not doing one, um, he's always doing a state of trance. You yeah. gotta listen because it's amazing, the music that he comes up with every single day. And he's yeah. usually with uh, Ruben Durand and um, uh, who's the other DJ? I can't. Think. Uh, I would I would have known Ruben, but I but, can't remember um, the other. I one. imagine it's probably in that tome. Uh, the DJ tome and that you have there. Yes, yeah. yes, <laughs> yes. Feel free to share anything we have, you know, uh, whatever available. I certainly will. Um, any other shameless plugs from you ladies? Uh, oh, now I'm sort of Except lost. Except for Timely Tim. We, we um, Timely Transportation. Timely Transportation Tim. Timely Tim. I and think it's, it's so T brilliant. T-Y-M-E-L-Y transportation very important he is the best in orlando but in orlando. he will go he will take you to an airport take in you to tampa. tampa yep he'll take you wow. to uh he's, he's awesome. saint augustine he will do whatever yes and he's trustworthy and mm -hmm. he's always on time and he's amazing so if you're ever in orlando or any of those areas <laughs> get hold of him he's love the guy. this guy he's awesome he's a lovable guy that's yeah. awesome we love him any shameless plugs, Jordan? That's a great no, one. No, sir. Oh, man, I have what? you super zoomed in. Look, yeah. <laughs> your face is bigger than anybody else's face. <laughs> Boom, Jordan. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Hello. All right. Here's Johnny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. I'm going to um, I'm gonna start off. Um, since Derek isn't here, i got to steal one of his plugs because I told him I would. Um. 
Anybody out there looking for a motivated, uh, motivated leader? Um, our, our board Derek's looking for a gig. Uh, sorry, sorry, Jen. Sorry, Jen. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to be here. <laughs> uh, Derek's looking for a gig. So if you guys need anybody that, uh, if you need, hit, hit me up. Anyway, moving on. Um, <laughs> this is awkward. Yeah. It, to be, to make it perfectly pinpoint, uh, Jen had nothing to do with this. Jen is a gem, and uh, Jen it, brought the food. To make it perfectly pinpoint, <laughs> no, perfectly Who pinpoint. Says that? Oh, she brought the food. That's what I said. I said it, yeah. So I feel like Jen's the reason Derek stayed for as long as he did. That is probably uh-huh. accurate. So. Anyway, right. uh, our boy Derek's <laughs> looking <laughs> looking for a gig. So, um, ladies, he is for hire. No, so, wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, I mean, maybe, maybe twenty dollars, wow. twenty dollars. Yeah. Can we? Okay. Can we? One more say that we're saying a prayer for. Oh, Derek's Derek's yeah. Papa. Derek's yeah. Papa. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we were. we're, we're, we're Good vibes. He's he's good. At last I heard, All uh, right. he's recovering and um and it's good. Uh, they, Looking they... forward to meeting you. Maybe next time. Oh yeah. Do yeah. a paranormal one. Oh yeah. There you yes. go. Oh, Ellie, you remember we I did that Jordan's paranormal eyes, like, episode? Dun, dun, yeah. Dun. We really could have. Anyway, we'll we'll get to that for sure. Um, <laughs> as for my plugs, very quickly, uh, check out our sponsors and partners at Code Rum, the Sneaky Tiki in downtown Stewart. And the Bug Juice Insect Repellent. Um, <laughs> check all of them out on oh, their various that. social medias. Uh, be sure to listen to our partner podcasts like Drums and Rums, hosted by our friend Paul Robertson. And the new Ooh-hoo. upcoming podcast hosted by Paul and the Kevin McLaughlin. Uh, that's called Riffs and Rhythms. And that's coming soon, very soon. I, uh, they, they, are, they are really pushing the release of this. I think it's wonderful. Uh, do you shop on Amazon? Of course you do. Uh, you can support our show and shop through yes, our affiliate link. Um, <gasps> and uh, it's it's so easy, right? You can slide into my DMs for the link, or you can find it on our website, jnclive.tv, and click on Shop <laughs> Amazon. And every purchase that you make supports our show, and it costs you nothing extra. Oh. It's really that simple. Okay. Um, I, I bought a T-shirt recently with my, with my Amazon uh, residuals. For our Oktoberfest celebration, so it, it's it's going back into the show for costumes <laughs> and other mischief. All right. Also, if you if you like what we do and you hate Amazon and you just want to throw money at us, mm. uh, this is the best way that you can do it uh, through Patreon. You can find our Patreon link on our website jnclive.tv. Uh, there's a little red button that says mm. "Become a Patron." And you can sign up, and it's just five bucks a month, and adds up really quick, and uh, helps us with a uh, a lot of our nonsense, like, like this, uh, like, like <laughs> whatever this. this is. These do not last very long, by the way. Yeah, I know they sad. die. I gotta cut all the like. I gotta, I gotta cut all the lights out. Oh, oh there we look go. It. I like it. See, everything's a little bit better in the dark, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, Better, but, the, but, the way, but we, we want to see everybody's favorite. What we want to see everybody's favorite. Those ones are good. Favorite. April has. Why are hers? Are I real? just. I just she did. just broke them. Oh, she just broke them. And that's that uh, fresh crack. Oh, that was that the fresh, fresh crack. crack. Fresh crack. Anyway, you guys. You know pe- what they say about the fresh crack? <laughs> Oh Patreon. The first <laughs> first crack is the deepest. Go to our Patreon. That's our shameless plug. Oh yeah. We, we have a trans dance coming up, so oh, yeah. maybe we'll film that for uh, behind the scenes or, or after dark. Yeah, um, later. But I just have some closing remarks here uh, to leave you all with. Um, listen, you guys, I just want to chat just a little bit about age dreams and that killer spirit that's alive in the EDM world. Mm. Yeah. So we're here where our hearts beat in sync with the music where melodies become a part of us and where every tiny drop of sweat is like a badge of our raw, pure joy. Hmm. It's easy to think of this place with all its lights, moves, and freedom is just for the young ones. But hey, let's bust that myth wide open. And you have 
busted that myth wide open. Age, it's just a number, right? It is. A way of keeping track of our trips around the sun. But sometimes it feels like a shackle. And to some people, telling us what we should and shouldn't do uh, at a certain point in our lives. But should it? No. No. Should it define your groove, your vibe, your passion for music? Hell no. No. Music, especially EDM, doesn't care how many candles were on your last birthday cake. It's about something deeper, something that vibrates in your soul and doesn't know how to grow old. An EDM fest, it's not just a big party. It's a movement of collective, timeless energy and spirit that laughs in the face of age. Imagine just for a second that you can be a raver forever. Picture being 70, 80, or 90, lost in the glow of the lights, moving however you damn well please to the beats, surrounded by a crowd of people all there for the same incredible feeling of joy and unity. Plur. That spirit in us, that unyielding flame, it doesn't know how to fade away. It doesn't get that with every year it's supposed to calm down a bit. It finds its home on the dance floor, at the rail, where every beat says your age doesn't define you. We all have the right to follow our hearts, to sink into the music that makes our souls want to dance, no matter how long we've been around. Life is a wild, mysterious journey, and your age should never dictate your rhythm. To the older ravers out there, you guys are living proof that passion doesn't fade, that it's ageless and endless. Your being at these festivals, your footsteps on the dance floor, tell a powerful story of passion that breaks down walls and tells everyone that age is not a limit. And to the young ones, welcome, first of all, and cherish the evergreen spirits around you. They've got stories of perseverance, of living bold and passionately. Let's build a place where every single one of us, no matter our age, can dance freely, celebrating the music and also our collective rebellion against the norms and try to box us in. Remember, we're all made of the same cosmic dust, connected by our love for music, rhythm, and community. We're going to dance. We're going to rave. We're going to live with no regard for the numbers that mark our time here, but forever young in the joy of sound and connection. Age isn't a barrier to passion or excitement. It's a passport to never-ending adventure. So let's spread the word that you're never too old to rave, to dance, to live. Oh my God. Today, we're not just a crowd. We're a message, Aww. a chant that spans galaxies. Our age won't define our spirit. So let's lose ourselves in the beats, tossing away any thoughts of holding back and find our eternal selves in the music. Because in the EDM world, we're always young, always lively, and always spirited. And a big thanks to you for being the timeless rhythm this universe needs. The Rave Mamas. Keep on raving. Keep on living. Let's keep dancing. There we go. Thank you, Brad. Love you guys. Thank you, Brad. That was awesome. That was amazing, Brad. You're amazing. Oh, my God. You're amazing and inspiring. Thank you. Forever. Wow. Yes. And, uh. Wow. Are you crying? Yeah, they're, Aww. A little, they're a little worked up. This is what I do. This is what I do. This is what I do. This is what happens. <laughs> the glues get a wear. Though, <laughs> listen, you guys, I hope you enjoyed our show tonight. Uh, give it up once again for our special guests, Darlene and April, the Rave Mamas. Love you. Let's hear it for the Destruction Crew, Ms. Jordan Taylor, and the Bandit. Tune in next week for a great show. We've got local singer-songwriter Mark Mike Ferro, who is tuning in tonight. Mike Ferro, he just he just he just put a comment in. Mike <laughs> Ferro is going to be hanging with us next week on the show. And uh, I, th I thought it was funny. I, I wanted to try to get Mike here for Derek's fortieth. Mike 
four zero. Oh wow! Yeah, no, but <laughs> I, I I was too late to the punch. But we're gonna have Mike on next week. It's gonna be great. Until next time, you guys, broadcasting live from the legendary JNC Lounge. I'm Brad Brock. We love you. Good night. Thank you, Ray. Oh, I'm amazed. I'll take this song in the